friends, welcome to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you for stopping by. This is your first video of mine. Check out my playlist. I've got hundreds and hundreds of craft projects, seasonal decor, all kinds of happy gifts. This is a video I've been meaning to bring to you ever since last fall because I was pleasantly surprised about something I ordered off Timu and it was just too good not to share. But since then, I've ordered more of them and I've been wanting to make this video and show you what it is. Uh, somewhere on Facebook or somewhere I read where somebody was ordering these canvases off of Timu and I really wasn't sure what, they, what it was so I went on Timu, I searched wall art and I mean I went down a rabbit hole and you can order wall art from all the way from 8 by 10 all the way to sofa size. The only drawback is that they it is like loose canvas. They are rolled up canvases so you have to finish it out. Either you have to frame them, make a frame, mount them in some way. I went ahead and ordered a three-piece and I couldn't believe how pretty they were. So I'm going to show you my very first canvas order. Last fall I went to this Amazon return store. I found a three-pack of these canvases and it just happened to fit these bird pictures. I couldn't believe it. So I came home and I painted over the mountain scene or whatever it was on there and then I just stapled and hot glued these canvases on these canvas boards and I just hung them up on my fireplace. Now, honestly, I should have framed them out so they would be a little more professional looking, but I just never got around to it last year, but I do plan on doing it this year. But I just want to show you how beautiful these prints are. And I don't have the measurement offhand, but I'll put it on the screen here just so you'll see how big these are. They took up the whole top of my fireplace and were just beautiful last fall. So right after Christmas, I decided to order more of these rolled up canvas and so I've had these really for the last six months and I've been meaning to uh, finish them out and here in the summer I've got the time and I'm gonna do it but let me just show you what all I ordered when I say canvas they kind of feel like a vinyl canvas if that makes sense it's not anything that rips easy very durable fabric that would definitely you know fold over and staple or nail however you plan on finish them out the first one is one of the smaller ones my daughter loves patriotic stuff Stuff, and I found this kind of graffiti Statue of Liberty. Now with it being this graffiti like I could probably get 11 by 14 frame and just cut some of the graffiti off. It wouldn't really distort the the image at all. So I thought you yeah, know that would be an easy way to do this one. Now one of them I ordered came in just a plastic tube. It was a six pack of some kind of vintage botanicals. They're really pretty. Um, I'll show them to you when I finish them out. These happen to be exactly eight by 10. So these would be really easy to finish out. You just stick these in an eight by 10 frame and call it done, hang them on the wall. A couple other ones I bought, they're kind of like an odd size and I'm gonna have to be really careful about how I finish them out. Now this one uh, is 40 inches by 20. Now this one's not too wide, but it's super long. And this one is kind of another one of those graffiti Statue of Liberty. I just, I thought that was really cool. Here again, I probably could cut off some of it, but I really didn't want to cut off some of the image. So this is one that I'm going to do a DIY frame on. That's one I'm going to finish out today. Now here's my absolute favorite one. This is what I saw somebody on Facebook or something have. Now if this doesn't scream Hobby Lobby, I don't know what does, but this is Santa. I can't even get it all in the thing. They had lots of Santa ones. They had a Santa one praying, Santa writing a letter. I had a hard time trying to decide uh, which one I wanted because they, they were all so cute. So with his face being on the side, I have to be really careful if I were to trim it down uh, to make it fit some pre-existing frame of some sort. So today I'm just going to show you a simple way that I'm going to finish them out. Now I went to Dollar Tree. I bought some foam board. Um, there's a variety of ways you could finish them out. It, depending on the size of your print, you could use paintster sticks. You can go to Lowe's and get like tomato steaks as long as they're straight. You can even buy picture molding. Since a couple of my prints were pretty big, my husband took a fence board 
uh, like a $4 fence board and cut them down for me an inch strips. So you can just buy this. I know not everybody has access to, you know, somebody who does woodworking. I'm going to use one by two inch little strips. So I'm not going to give you a play by play of me finishing the canvases out. I think it's simple enough where I'll be able just to show you and explain to you what I did. All right, friends, it's been a few days. I've got uh, just about all of my canvases framed now with the exception of that three-piece wood set that I showed you outside, and I just ran out of woods. The good thing is this one will be super easy where I'll just cut some wood and I can nail it directly into the canvas frame, and that'll be a super simple one. Now, what I was going to do is just show you all the ones I've got framed. I'm going to tell you what I would do and would not do again. I could certainly make it a lot easier on myself. So this first one is that six piece vintage botanical set. I thought was so pretty. It's timeless. You could put it in any room. This would be pretty above a bed, a couch, and I, here I have it in my front little dining room above the fireplace. I went and bought six Dollar Tree frames. They were shiny gold. I didn't want them gold and I wanted matte black spray paint, but I used what I had. I can always go back and spray it with some matte clear spray and get that shine off. I'm not sure what the price was, but I'll put it on the screen so you'll see what they are. You know, I've got eight dollars tied up in the frames and probably just a few dollars tied up in these canvases for around ten dollars or so. This is a lot of bang for your buck. Very high-end looking and just real happy with these vintage botanicals. So I'm going to take these six pictures down and show you the other ones. All right, this next one is the smaller of the two patriotic ones I bought. This one's actually a gift for my daughter. And what I decided to do was just staple it onto a stretched canvas frame. I painted it black first, and then I ended up having to cover up some of the graphic around it. But just so you know, this is 11 by 14 stretch canvas, and it really just fit it perfect, even losing a little bit of the picture. I'm not sure what I paid for it, but I'll put the price on the screen, and I think she's going to love this picture to put in her house somewhere. Right, here so, is the second one, the large patriotic canvas that I bought for myself. Bring it in a little closer just so you can see Marilyn Monroe and just all kinds of like Campbell's soup. Very Andy Warhol pop art look. I think that's really cool. Even though it doesn't necessarily go with my decor, it's fun. I'm really disappointed in this one and my Santa one just because I can see every flaw. Now what I ended up doing is I had to piece together some Dollar Tree foam board and I just glued the canvas to the foam board and then my husband helped me make a wood frame. Just the one by two strips someone just walking in probably wouldn't notice it but it's just you know i see every flaw and it's just not as smooth as i want it to be it's like 40 inches by 20 inches it's really good size so it'll be fun to look at for the month of july i'll put the price on the screen what i paid for it All right, now here's my big Santa. Love this print, without a doubt. Now this one I am going to probably redo. You know, with the patriotic graffiti one, there was enough white in there where the white didn't really show. But with this one, it just shows right there. And I could get another little piece of trim or a dowel rod or something and glue in there and cover that up. This one was the exact size as the foam board at Dollar Tree. Now where I made my mistake is I gave my husband the wrong measurements. If this frame was just a half an inch smaller all the way around. I could have just laid it on top of the canvas and no one would know any different. But since I'm seeing that white frame around it, it just doesn't look good. So I'm definitely going to either fix the wood frame or find a whole different frame altogether. The main purpose of this video was just to show you this great wall art that you can get from Timu for just nearly nothing. I think I paid a few dollars for this, but like the others, I'll put the price on the screen so you can check it out. I said earlier I ran out of wood to finish these three pieces. I still wanted to put them up here just to show you how big they are. These would be gorgeous above a bed, a fireplace, above a couch, and me just looking up and finding some canvases that fit these three prints. I couldn't believe it. It's going to be super easy for me just to stain some wood and tack it around the edges, and it'll be so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed seeing 
the wall art that I bought and how I tried to finish it out. I'm certainly going to go a little easier route next time, but look at Timu and see what kind of canvases you can get and make some really inexpensive wall art for your home. I'll be back in a couple weeks. Next week, I'm going on a fun vacation to California, and hopefully I can share some of that with you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.